Ready or not, the Winter Olympics are just weeks away. Detroit has long been the center of American ice dancing. And while much of the training has shifted to Montreal recently, there are still some strong Michigan connections. Devin Skillian takes a look at the two veteran pairs hoping for a return Olympic engagement. Of all the things that can happen at an Olympiad, of all the possible results after four years of training and dreaming, some would suggest a fourth place finish is the toughest. Fourth is so impressive and yet, it's one step off the podium. The last games we had factors that were either a distraction or a disappointment and we were, you know, in a very different mentality than we're in now and I think our headspace is a lot healthier. Healthier is an interesting word to use just now. The pandemic leaves skaters knowing that just about any event can be canceled at a moment's notice. And the team of Madison Hubble and Zach Donahue know that this is their last go round. After more than a decade of twirling around the ice together, this year marks the end of a long, beautiful dance. All of that experience has led to an important revelation. It is not the medal or the title that they'll miss. It's the moment, the moment when it all comes together on a thin sheet of ice. In a high pressure year, it's really easy to get wrapped up in you know, our goals and wanting to be on the Olympic podium. And, you know, we carry that drive with us every day. But when it comes time to perform, those are those special m minutes that we can't get back. They don't have to look far down the ice to find their chief American rivals. While Hubble and Donahue are the reigning U.S. champions, it's Madison Chalk and Evan Bates vying to become the first American ice dance team to qualify for three Olympiads. A couple on and off the ice, they too feel better than ever. Completely different than who we were four years ago going into the games. Our, our mindset is different. Um, we're definitely the strongest that we've ever been mentally, physically, and together as a couple. Evan Bates may make history on two fronts. After first qualifying with Emily Samuelson, he's trying to become the first American skater in any discipline to appear in four Olympic Games. But even for him, things feel very new at the moment. In Finland, we had an audience and it was just like, it was so fun to skate for a live audience again. Gosh, I just, we feel very grateful for what we've got. American athletes are going to face a ton of questions about the setting for these games. Human rights activists have asked the U.S. to boycott a Chinese Olympiad. Bates believes human rights concerns get a better hearing if the athletes are there. I think to, to boycott the games would be to not take the opportunity to shed light on this topic. And so, you know, we're here and, and we will field the question and, and speak about how important it is to come together and to represent the Olympic movement, which is all about, you know, togetherness and humanity. It was actually the third team that managed to medal for the Americans in Pyeongchang, the Shibatanis, Alex and Maya, the Shib Sibs, but they've retired from competition. So it's up to the old guard to carry the American torch. I'm Devin Skillion, Local 4. All right, thank you, Devin. Both dance teams have ties to Michigan. Madison Hubble is from Lansing and Evan Bates from Ann Arbor. Plus, both teams trained in Metro Detroit before moving to Montreal. The competition gets underway tomorrow, and you can watch it on Local 4 tomorrow night at 8 o'clock.